Moreover, stable success in the primary market later continued among used cars. Selling a used Renault Logan was not a problem. The Romanian French sedan lacked only grace. And although design is not the main thing in such a segment, the Logan's angularity and uncouthness often repelled customers under the age of 30. But put into production on December 16, 2009, at the Moscow Renault plant, the Sandero hatchback, the audience met with trepidation, almost instantly forming a multi-month queue to buy a car, despite the still blazing crisis. At that time, it was possible to buy three-volume Logan almost immediately. The five-door Sandero, built on the same B0 platform, essentially was and remained the Logan, trying on a new body type. At the same time, the similarity of Logan slash Sandero was hidden from view. Rounded optics, a slightly softer silhouette with stampings on the sides, light shapes combined with easier access to a slimmed down trunk. The visual clumsiness inherent in Logan was almost unreadable in Sandero, and all this for a symbolic surcharge of 10,000 rubles, compared with the similar sedan. But the list of breakdowns, miscalculations, and age-related diagnoses for Logan and Sandero is almost identical. Perhaps the only difference will be only the corrosion resistance of the metal. If the sedans of the first years of production rusted, until their bodies began to be galvanized in 2007, then the hatchback is devoid of such problems in principle. The Russian debut of Sandero happened almost simultaneously with the restyled sedan, at the end of 2009. By the way, that is why the hatchback was never updated, at the end of 2014 passing the baton to the next Sandero. Along with the Logan, the five-door Sandero rightfully gained fame as a trouble-free device that does not annoy the owner with serious and expensive worries. And although there were noticeably more Logans than Sandero in driving schools, taxis, and delivery services, there is no doubt about the hatchback's inherent durability. However, whims happen. But the list of minor flaws noticed by Sandero on paper or tablet looks worse than in life. With age, the illumination of partings and buttons in the cabin gradually dies. The left stock lever is rented, loaded with the horn and turn signals. Lamps burn out. The most unpleasant thing on this list is liters of water in the doors. Over time, the gates lose their tightness and are filled with liquid. If the previous owner did not control the problem, there is a potential threat of breakdowns in the electrician and the attack of rust, although the machine itself is not susceptible to it. It will not hurt to check the condition of the radiator. Periodically, stones fall into it through a decorative lattice. And in some instances, the part completely collapsed on its own, spontaneously. Such an unpleasant surprise was usually solved by a guarantee. By the way, she is very loyal to Renault. There are precedents when even a regular jack was changed under warranty. All Renault Sandero engines came from Logan, within the Russian market, which, in turn, received them from long-rotten ancestors of the 80s. Sandero produced in Moscow have all gasoline and atmospheric engines, with four cylinders and inline layout. Volume, 1.4 to 1.6. Power, from 75 to 105 forces. Torque in the range of 112 to 147 newton meters. And if the smallest power unit is spared from variations, always 75 horsepower and 112 newton meters, then 1.6 can be different, 8 Renault K7M, or 16 Bal Renault K4M. The first produces 84 horsepower and 128 newton meters, the second, 102 or 105 horses depending on the configuration and 147 newton meters of torque. In general, each of the engines does not pester with breakdowns. Sometimes it may only be necessary to replace the crankshaft oil seal and water pump. There are cases of oil leakage from under the valve cover. Nothing more serious is written by the Sandero engine. Only 116 valve specimens are frightening, in which the unit exploded even before the first MOT. But with such a large circulation, this is rather an exception. In addition, the issue of these hundred cars, most likely, has already been decided by the previous owner. True, probably on their own since neither the plant, nor the dealers, nor the representative office recognize the defect. Transmission claims depend on its type. Most Sanderos are friends with the, the mechanics, with five gears, but there are instances with the four-speed automatic. And if the, the mechanics, as a maximum, bothers with noises, then the automatic. This outdated unit is perhaps the worst automatic of our time. The box rarely survives without repair up to 70 to 80,000 kilometers. Gear changes are accompanied by jerks, and active driving and cold starts drastically reduce the service life. 
The chassis is the strongest side of the B0 platform, in general, and Sandero, as its carrier, in particular. The car is incredibly easy to carry broken asphalt thanks to the long stroke and energy-intensive suspension. In addition, geometric cross-country ability allows even an ordinary hatchback to easily feel on the terrain, not to mention the elevated version of the stepway. At the same time, attention to the suspension is not required before 80,000 kilometers previously. Brakes that do not like dusty directions can be a problem. Salon is aging slowly. Visually, the materials begin to wear out closer to 100,000 kilometers, although such nuances as the creaking of the seat may appear much earlier. For some reason, the muffler is rusting. It happens that the heated rear window partially breaks, no more than a couple of threads. At the same time, the glasses themselves are armored. Sandero painlessly catches cobblestones from the track. Collectively, even today's Sandero, technically identical to the sedan and adopting its degree of survivability, in addition to other things, still looks a bit more attractive than Logan. Moreover, if in youth the price difference was only 10,000 rubles, now it has almost decreased.